Hello everyone and welcome back to Sketch by Sketch. About a week ago I posted a short video of a sketch, this one right here, and you guys seemed to really like it and was really interested in how I did it. So here's the reference photo I used for that one and today we are going to be drawing this one right over here. Um, so I'm going to be doing it in the same style and walking you through everything I'm doing. Also, just a little tip, I just found out this week that Starbucks has extra large iced coffee, so that's super awesome. <laughs> Anyways, let's get right into the sketch with me. So I'm going to just start out in my ELO sketchbook, and I'm sketching with a red pencil. Um, for this, because we're not doing line art, I recommend using a red pencil or a pink pencil. I've used purple and blue before. Um, I don't recommend blue. I don't really like the tone that it gives the drawing. Purple's okay, but really I recommend sticking with red or pink. And I usually do use pink. I just grabbed this red one because that's how I did the other one. And I'm just using this reference photo here and I'm just starting to sketch out the body. This isn't a tutorial necessarily on how I actually do the girl. I have videos on how to draw anatomy and things like that, but more just the process of how I got the sketch to look the way that it is without line art. Something I really recommend if you're wanting to just have some fun with drawing but you don't really know what to draw, um, doing what I'm doing here and looking up um, sewing patterns, um, that's exactly what that was, the reference that I showed you, it was like the cover of a sewing pattern from um, like the 50s, 60s. Um, so I like looking up vintage sewing patterns and using those as reference. I have one saved. Um, I screenshotted it and it's of 80s prom dresses. I am so pumped. That's going to be a video coming up. Um, the dresses are just so cool and the hairstyles. I'm just so, so excited to film that. That's probably going to be coming up in a few weeks because um, I really want to get that one done. And what I'm doing here, back to the actual drawing, I'm just kind of sketching lightly um, because we are going to be using these lines as line art. Um, so pretty much just get the loose sketch in, um, just be very light with everything, and then in a bit we're going to clean it up and I'll show you how to do that. I really love the style that I've done these two pieces in, especially the last one. Um, her hair had a bit of a reddish tint, and I don't draw that often. I usually um, draw dark brown hair, or occasionally I'll draw blonde hair. I don't know why, I just usually go for dark brown. Um, but drawing that reddish hair color was just so fun. And then here, in this one, it's going to be um, a almost black color. So definitely experimenting here, drawing some different things. I think it's really pretty. And I like the style that I drew this face in. It doesn't really look like my normal art. It does in a way, but just a tad bit different. And I think it's just very beautiful. And I just really like this character. Once I know where I want lines to be and that that's going to be the finished place where I want them to be, um, I'm going to start darkening everything. Because we're not using line art, your lines are going to need to be fairly dark. Don't press so hard that you get like little pieces of the pencil breaking off onto the page, but just give it a little bit of a darker uh, shade than you normally would. And I also recommend adding some shading um, as I'm doing here with the actual pencil. It'll all blend in with the alcohol markers. Um, and it'll all look really seamless and pretty. That's why we're using the red color because it's just going to blend in nicely with the skin tone and give it more of a pink glow. Just to let you know, this uh, process doesn't really work well unless you're using alcohol markers. So um, I recommend using Ohuhu's, uh, Copics, or really any other kind of alcohol marker. Just don't use anything water-based or um, pencils won't work for this. So if you want to follow exactly along with what I'm doing, make sure you have some alcohol markers. You don't have to have a lot. Um, um, Amazon offers some great um, sets, small sets that are very affordable and I definitely recommend some of them. Um, um, speaking of that, Amazon Prime Day is coming up in a few weeks and for anyone who is looking to get some more art supplies, um, then I definitely recommend buying it on that day. Amazon has some great affordable options already and then they're on great deals on that day. So I'll be making a video on that um, when it gets closer to time, but definitely be looking out for that. I really love the dresses that um, I've done in these two pieces. I just think they're so pretty and elegant and vintage. Um, just so cute. I really love them. And as you can see, I added some shading under 
um, her neck um, and on the arm there you can see I'm just kind of adding the shading where it would be and like I said that's gonna blend in later and being a little bit more careful here where I put lines um, just because I this is what I'm using to really um, line out the drawing so I want to be more careful on where I place everything I love these gloves with this dress. I think it just looks so elegant and really ties everything together. And as far as the floral pattern on the dress, I'm going to wait to do that with the markers and not line that out, just so it looks a little bit more soft and like it's actually sitting on the fabric. And sorry about my hair getting into the frame. I usually try to tie it back while I'm filming so that doesn't happen, but I must have forgot. Also, I took my um, mat off of my desk that you usually see the green mat um, and just left my desk as the background. Let me know if you like that better. I feel like it looks better with the mat because the page looks a little bit more bright, but if you like the white background, then just let me know. All right, here's the sketch. I've cleaned everything up just a little bit with a kneaded eraser, but the lines are still dark. And now I'm gonna start choosing my colors. So something a little bit different I do about this is I go in with kind of like a reddish pink color and I'm gonna start putting in where all the shadows are gonna be. I want this to have a very soft feminine, um, kind of like a, a rosy glow to everything because there is no liner, I want it to look also very soft and like everything is just so seamless. Um, with black lines, I feel like it can look a little bit harsh sometimes and look very cartoony. I want this to look soft and just kind of pretty, almost in a watercolor sense, um, like if this were to be painted. Um, but of course we're doing it with markers. So I'm just going in with this tone. Um, it's R12 if you have a Hoo Hoo markers. Um, this is usually the color I use for this. And I'm just going along where there's going to be shadows. And then I colored in her lips and gave some eyeshadow and blush. I always apply blush on the nose and uh, the top of the cheekbones. And then I'm coloring under her uh, chin, like on her neck, and then um, where the collarbones are. Pretty much anywhere that you want it to look shaded or pushed back, then just put this tone there. I know you normally would use brown, but um, I like experimenting with different colors. You could even use purple here. Um, I think that when we step outside of the box and don't just go with tans and browns, um, then it definitely is going to look a little bit more interesting and um, a little bit more fun. So I definitely like experimenting with this. Try out different colors. Um, again, stick to more warm tones. Um, you can use orange. Um, Depending on the skin tone, you can use yellow. I don't love the way it looks, but you can use it. Um, I like, I'm using here, I like pinks and reds um, for me. Um, purples look great. Um, and you can use blue um, mixed in with some of these colors if you wanna give it more of a desaturated tone. So hopefully that helps. Um, I can make a whole video on colors and what colors to use um, for different things if you want me to, um, but that's pretty much just the basics. All right, now I'm going in with a lighter shade of whatever color I'm using. So if you're using purple, go with more of a lighter purple color. And now you're just kind of going to go along the edge. You're not going to color in anything completely. You're just going to add a little bit of a gradient there. All right, now I'm kind of bringing in the actual skin tone. This is more of a tan color. It still has a bit of that orange kind of reddish look to it, but that's what we want. We want this to look very golden and rosy. So you're just going to add that again along the lines of the other shadows, but you don't want to fill it in completely. Now I'm going in with my lightest color that I'm going to use and I'm just filling everything in, leaving just a little bit of white space for a highlight, but mostly filling in everything, just kind of going in circular motion so that it blends all that color in together. And I think that looks so pretty. I just, I just love the way that that looks. All 
Now I'm just going to go in with those eyebrows and the hairline. Sorry if you can't see what I'm doing there. I'm actually um, lining the eyes now. Now this is something that now that I look back on this piece, I wish I wouldn't have done with the marker. It looks a little bit harsh. Um, I was not going for that much of a makeup look here. Um, because our hair is so dark, it just all kind of has more of a dark look now that I line the eyes like that. Um, so I recommend going in with a colored pencil there and just kind of lightly shading um, some eyeliner on instead of doing what I'm doing. But, I mean, if you like that look, then totally go for it. I added some green just to give her eyes a bit of color, but it's still kind of blended and muted. Okay, now I'm going in with brown here. And I'm adding a little bit of shadow to the eyes. Again, that was a little bit too much, um, but still, it looks pretty. Um, just as future reference to anyone else who's going to use this method, you can go a little bit lighter on the eyes. Okay, now I'm going to do the hair. Um, I'm just kind of going to follow along the hairline, leaving some white space. Um, again, I want this to look very much like a sketch still that's just been very effortlessly colored. So I'm leaving a little bit of white space in there. I'm not over shading anything. So this isn't about being realistic or looking, you know, the most professional. It's just having fun with it and um, making it look pretty. So um, I'm just coloring here with a dark shade. I'm not even going to add really any other colors to this. I'm just going to let that be. Um, I feel like sometimes you can over shade things like the skin has quite a bit of color variation so I'm going to contrast that with the um, single color for the hair. Hopefully all this makes sense. I'm trying to actually throw in some tips for you guys and some actual I guess information about color theory and how to really make your drawings visually pop. Um, again if you want a specific video on all of this stuff I could probably do that just let me know some topics that you guys want me to talk about and maybe we could start a little mini series or something um, like always leave any questions down below I love answering your questions you guys are so fun to talk to in the comment section um, and I always respond to comments even videos that are way old I have my notifications on for every comment that comes through and I at least uh, like and heart your comment um, because I really care about what you guys have to say so um, make sure you leave those comments and I promise I will get back with you um, and I will read your comments Okay, now I'm trying to find the perfect blue color. I wanted that really vintage uh, light blue color. So I'm just kind of trying out some Ohuhu markers over here. Even though I have a color swatch somewhere around my desk, I can't find it right now. So I'm just swatching them on the page. I really love the way the swatches look actually on the side of a sketchbook page. Um, I think it looks really cool. Okay, found the perfect vintage sky blue and I'm going in with these just kind of soft little flowers. They're not detailed or anything. They just resemble the shape of flowers. And that's how it was on the pattern. And I think it's really pretty. And I just wanted to uh, really capture that. So I'm adding that pattern to her dress and her hat. I actually love the style of this dress with the little bit of the corset on the bottom. Um, it's not so much that it looks like a full-on corset, but um, that little belt is just really pretty and I think it adds um, such a nice touch and makes the drawing really interesting. And I'm just doing this in a random pattern here. It doesn't have to be in any specific way. Just have fun. Put it where you think it needs to go and don't overthink it. Don't lay out like a grid of where you need to put each element of the pattern. Just put it on there. It's going to look pretty either way. Okay, I really, really like the way that all of that looks. Now I'm going in with an almost black color to do this little belt thing. Um, 
I'm just kind of coloring that in again, not shading it. All right, now to add some color to the dress and the gloves and the hat. Um, this is something that's a little bit difficult when it comes to drawing something that's white. Um, if you want to get technical about it again, like I have been in this video, I don't know. I've just been wanting to talk about all this stuff, I guess, today. Um, then colors that go with white would be yellow, grays, blues, and purples. That's more of a cool tone besides the yellow. We're going to use a yellow, more of a warm gray color like I'm using here when you want a vintage look. Um, this definitely gives this kind of like a worn, kind of old photograph kind of vibe to it um, because it is a warm gray. If I were to use a cool gray, then it's going to look a little bit brighter, a little newer. Um, and that's also where you can use the blues and purples because they are cool toned colors. Um, so definitely most whites that I draw, I'm going to be using cool gray and blue. Um, purple I throw in just a little bit, but I mainly use like a really light blue. Um, you want to keep the white really bright, so don't use anything dark to shade it. Um, but also don't be afraid to add color to the white. This dress definitely still looks like a white dress even after I've done this. Um, so just don't overshade it. That's when you're going to start getting a different tone to it, but don't be afraid to add the color. Hopefully, <laughs> again, that makes sense, um, but that's um, basically how I color white. Okay, now I'm going to just add a little bit of a darker lipstick color just to really make that pop. I thought because I made the eyes a little bit too dark, then I probably should add a little more lipstick just to kind of uh, bring that whole makeup look together, I guess. But I think it does look nice um, once I added that. Okay, and now I'm just going to finish this off with a background. I use kind of like an old green, sage green um, color here. Again, keeping everything a little bit desaturated just to kind of give it the vintage look. Um, so I'm just going to color in a block in the background here. Um, nothing fancy. Um, I think this is all that it needs. Just let the drawing be. And um, so that that's the main focus of the drawing. So I'm just filling this in right here. Um, and that's going to be about the last thing that I do here. I really, really love the way this piece turned out. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to do more drawings in this style. So let me know if there's any specific photos or um, pieces that you want me to draw or time periods or things like that. So leave all that down in the comments below. I'm so glad you uh, hung out with me to do this sketch with me today. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Keep drawing and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!